Hey, so Morgan's home, and he's safe. Safe, but not home. He's staying with Michael. Oh, God, are you kidding me? What is Sonny thinking? The kid is obviously starving for some adult supervision. Well, Sonny's got a couple of guys keeping an eye on the building. Yeah, well, all due respect, Sean, a couple of goombas walking around on the sidewalk is not a substitute for actual parenting. Thank you for the update, Sean. I'm just so glad we can put this whole nightmare behind us. Sonny, you're back. Yeah, I, ju I just wanted to check in and make sure everything's OK. I'll pay for whatever damages. No, it's fine. Yeah, I just finished the cleanup. No signs of last night altercation. Thanks, Sean. Well, glad it all worked out. So you got your bad boy back. Yeah, he's safe and sound. <laughs> glad it all worked out. <laughs> so. What happened? Well, do we not even want to know? No, yeah, well, I paid them off and, you know, uh, warned them not to go anywhere near my family, sent them away, and they brought Morgan home. To live with Michael, you sure that's a good well, idea? Well, and I didn't want to fight because Morgan's been through that already, and uh, <sighs> being with Michael was a compromise. And Michael's okay with this? Yeah. I mean, I think he is. It's neutral territory. The brothers can get back to bonding. I, you know, and, and Michael's a, a responsible kid. I yeah. get that. It just it just seems like Morgan is a bit of a handful right now, and maybe Michael would rather take the blame and let his brother suffer the consequences of the... You know what? It's none of my business. It's none of my, none of my business. I'm sure whatever you're doing, it's going to be fine. What about Sorry. you? Are you OK? <sighs> you have to uh, be terrorized and held hostage and then holding the other guy hostage. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> you two really helped me out. Um, you led me to Morgan, and I, I can't thank you enough. You know I'd do anything for you, right? Okay, for crying out loud, enough already. Connie, you okay? Yes, I'm so sorry. Uh, Is there anything it's just I, been I a can long do? Because no, I told you I'd pay for the damages. It's fine. Sonny, I'm, I'm really grateful that you came by to check on us and fill us in about Morgan, but I think you should go now. Honey, I was just checking in. I know, Thanks. and I'm very grateful that Morgan's home. But, Sonny, you know my situation. I'm not supposed to be around you. Oh, I get it. I get it. And you know, look, I'm sorry I didn't I didn't want to drag you into this, either of you. It's fine. It's all worked out, right? See you around, Liv. You okay? Yeah, sorry about that. I, I get it, I get it, I get it. You gotta stay away from Sonny, and Sonny's gotta stay away from you. Thank you. Uh, but I, so I gotta ask, what just happened there? Were you upset because of Sonny? Or were you upset because of Sonny and me? I'm not trying to come between you and Lulu. She's just confused, and she needed a friend to be there a for friend, her. A friend? A friend wouldn't try and keep her from the people who care about her. I care about Lulu, too. And come to think about it, I, I've cared about her longer than you have, Dante. Milo, Milo, please stop. What do, what do you expect to come from this? Her staying with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not the one that has anything to prove. I accept Lulu exactly the way she is. And maybe that's why she prefers my company right now, is because I'm not pressuring her all You're not pressuring time. her because, you know, she's going to leave you as soon as she remembers her life with me. I don't know, Dante. I think if Lulu wanted to remember you, she'd have done it by now. So maybe she'd just back off. I would not do that. Hey, somebody want to tell me what the hell's going on here? It's nothing. Paul, I can explain it. How's Morgan? You find him? Relax. Morgan's fine. The only one of my kids that I'm worried about right now is you, Dante. I'll leave you two to talk. You're not going anywhere. Wait for me inside. Go easy on Milo. Sonny, I swung first. He's just looking after Lulu. I'll deal with Milo in a minute. Him and I need some clarification, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm guessing that punch had something to do with you and Lulu aren't back on track. Not yet. In fact, right now she seems farther away than ever. Do you think Lulu's trying to block the memory of something that happened on that island? It's the only place Stavros held her captive. <sighs> Except for the haunted star. That's, that's where... He took Lulu the night she was taken. 
You think she's going back to the Honda Star? There's only one way to find out. I don't know, maybe, maybe this guy. What happened? Buy low. Now. That didn't look good. No, it didn't. Boss, I'm so sorry about the fight. I didn't ever see it get into this. Forget about all that. You and I are going to have a little chat about why you're shacking up with my daughter-in-law. <laughs>